Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's video, we're going to be talking about common mistakes that people make when using hollow powder on their nails. We get asked a lot about this because special nail powders can sometimes be tricky to use. So here are the top five mistakes and how to fix them. Hey guys, it's Julie. Now let's jump into the video. The first thing you might be doing wrong when you apply hollow powder is applying it to the sticky layer of gel. After you apply your color gel polish, here I'm using a black, and then you cure it, you'll be left with a sticky layer on top of your fully cured color. This is normal, but if you apply your hollow powder to it, it'll just come out looking silver and foggy and not rainbow at all. Instead, you have to apply it over top of a no wipe top coat gel. This just means when it's cured, there is no sticky layer left, and when you rub the holographic powder into it, you get that awesome rainbow effect. The next thing you might be doing wrong is applying too much powder. If you get too much pigment on your nail, it's just gonna leave your nail looking silver and sort of chromey, but you're not gonna get that rainbow effect. You only need a small amount of the powder to get the desired effect. Which brings me into my next tip, you might not be buffing the powder enough. I like to buff the powder with a sponge tip applicator that I applied it with until all of the powder is pressed down and then I take my finger and give it an extra rub all over. And if you're not comfortable with gel polish, you can actually apply it to regular nail polish but you have to use some specific steps. First, apply two coats of a nail polish that dries shiny. If your polish dries matte, you'll need to apply a shiny top coat. Then once the polish is dry enough for you to move your fingertip over without smudging, but still sorta of tacky, carefully apply the powder. I like to use my fingertip for this so that I can feel how much pressure I'm applying, but then I like to use the sponge tip applicator to buff out the rainbow effect more. And the biggest mistake you might be making is using the wrong top coat. If you're using the regular polish method, you can't just use a regular top coat. It'll smear the powder and cause it to get all foggy. Instead, you have to use a water-based top coat. A lot of times, these are labeled as a foil top coat or even the peelable base coats. They actually work over holographic powder too. And after that dries, you can pop on your regular top coat to make it extra shiny. And for gel, just use a regular gel top coat to preserve the hollow. And there you have five mistakes you might be making that prevent you from getting a super holographic chrome manicure. For more videos on Cute Polish, click these boxes here. And you can click on the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. And if you'd like to check out my personal channel, just click the circle here.